Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. My name is Ali and today we are doing yoga for body awareness. Let's come to the front of the mat. Taking a few nice deep breaths. Hands over the heart, lifting through the crown of the head and bringing the attention to the feet. Lifting the energy from the feet into the calves and shin bones, knees, front and back, thighs, back of leg, hips, pelvis, glutes, lower belly, waistline, upper belly, back, lower back, mid back, sides of the body, sides of the torso, rib cage, front and back, coming into the chest area, expanding, opening, back of mid back, back of the heart chakra area, shoulders, arms, forearms, hands, fingertips, back of the shoulder, feel them widen, shoulder blades, back of the neck, front of the neck, Collar bones, lightening the throat, lifting the stickier energy from the throat. On day-to-day -day basis, we have to clear the throat chakra, clear the throat, clear the communication center, which will make us receptive and open, open communicators, listeners, and openly expressing ourselves and our art. Bringing awareness now to the cheeks, lips, chin, the space between the lips and the nose, ears, nose, eyes, eyelids, eyebrows, forehead, head, back of the head, lifting through the crown of the head, giving ourselves this energetic hug with awareness, awareness hug, let's call it awareness hug. The spine is elongated here, imagining your spine as this energy vortex lifting up and let's begin to shift the weight onto the left and right you can bring the arms out palms of the hands facing forward and just shifting feeling the spine with all the nerve endings all along the spine, moving gently as a young tree in the wind. Feeling the breath. Feel how your breath is awakening the spine. Mm. Exhaling with a ha. You can keep your lips closed or open, whatever feels better. 
Mm. Bring in a little sound into it. Mm. One more. Mm. And let's all open the arms out. Inhale all the way over the head. And exhale, palms towards the body, bringing energy or showering the body with energy. Prana. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, slowly shower the body with energy. And inhale, lifting up. And exhale, shower the body with energy. And feel an, an expansion in your heart of love towards the body. Really, now there is all these body positive movements and all these body awareness movements and acceptance, self-acceptance, self-love movements. So bringing it back into the roots of it, accepting the body not because if it's perfect or not because it's imperfect and not because of any reason, but because it is, it is your body and it is your temporary home, and it is perfect in its service to you. It is serving you for whatever you need in your life, on your path now. And because no matter what it is, you're far more than that. It is not your definition. It is a tool for you to expand your consciousness. So accepting it, loving it with every fiber of your being. Let's see, inhale the hands up. Feeling your soulness here, not just your body, but your soulness. Exhaling with a straight back, lower down, fold, folding forward. Inhale, looking ahead of you. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Step it back in plank. Holding plank. Squeeze the inner thighs towards the midline. Keep the chest open. The back is wide. And you can shift here again, side to side. Left to right. Tailbone tucked under slightly so that the core is engaging, awakening, connecting, firing up. Lighting up, Chaturanga, all the way to the floor. Inhale, Cobra. And exhale, extended puppy pose, which is a form of a child's pose, mm -hmm. only we're really planting the fingertips down and pulling back, feeling that stretch, down dog. And you can shift your tailbone side to side. Inhale the right leg up and open the right hip on top of the left. Lift, lift, lift. Let's step it in high lunge. Open the arms out, gather energy. Open the arms out, gather, lifting. We're bringing prana in, moving, feeling the movement, feeling the body with exuberance. In reaching up. Breathe. 
Continue deepening your breath. Let's step to the front. Left knee into the rib cage and step it back in high lunge. Step to the front, knee to rib cage, step it back, step to the front, step it back. Hands over the heart take in a moment. This is, think of this as a body prayer instead of mental. Uh, prayer, internal prayer, more of a body prayer where we bring the hands over the heart and it's a mudra. Great, exhale down, step it back, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, big breath in, take the left leg up and open it. Soften into the movement. Great, step it through. High lunge. And we can bring the hands over the heart, open over the heart, bring the breath into the movement. Feeling the subtleties of the energies in the body, the expression of the soul through the body. And let's step to the front. Knee in, step it back, step to the front, knee in, step it back, step to the front, knee in, step it back. Let's bring the hands in our prayer. Exhale down, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog, breathe. Folding into yourself, this is a forward bend variation. We're folding into ourselves. We're turning inward, turning in. Looking in towards the soul because with any body awareness, body positivity can never happen if we do, if we don't move past the body into the soul, understanding our selves as a soul. Only then and then can we accept the body. Only then we move past materialism into spirituality. Let's inhale the right leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down, warrior one. Squaring the hips here, feeling the hips. Straightening the lead knee and the Right hand to the right hip, right hip back, left hand forward, lower down, and reach up with the right hand, revolving triangle pose. Exhale, both hands down, chest over the right leg, not all the way down, but a beginner stretch. Great, step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step it through, warrior, one. Straight. 
straightening the lead knee, reaching ahead of you with the right hand, lower down, lift up. Great, release the hands down. Drawing the navel in here, elongating the spine. Feel your legs here, the hips, the hamstrings, the knees. As I usually like to say, the internal dynamics of the pose. We feel the pose. We feel the body. We tune in. We pay attention. We become silent. We absorb. We take in information, sensations. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, plank. How is it going? You can put your knees on the floor and give me a few more. If your chaturangas are horrible, which also happens, you can do them on a table or even on the wall. In my postpartum series, I started with chaturangas on the wall, and even those were hard for me. So you get there, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, up dog. And <laughs> one more chaturanga, down dog. <laughs> You did it. You got through it. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior two directly. Soften. And if something is bothering you somewhere in the body or you're becoming aware of some sticky energy somewhere or just achiness, pain, etc., tune in, breathe it out. Don't force it, don't go moving in that area, just bring your breath and awareness there. You don't have to physically move in the area, you can bring the breath, which is far more powerful. The mind is far more powerful, and by the mind I mean consciousness, not the thinking mind. So that distinction, <laughs> we always have to make the distinction which mind we're talking about. And reverse the warrior. Exhale, side angle. So sometimes we say mind is everything, but we don't mean the thinking mind. And other times we say don't think, be empty minded or I'm empty. That's the other mind, the thinking mind. There is no distinction in English language. All right, from here, left hand on the floor, twist it, right arm up. Feel the twist and the subtleties of the twist through the rib cage, through the spine, through the belly. Exhale down. Plank. Should we do a few more of those evil chaturangas? So power up the core and lower down with strength. Imagine you're strong and this is nothing to you. One more. And upward dog. Mind over matter. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Step it through. We nail the hands into warrior two. And just feel the warrior. Feel the hips, the pelvis, perineum. Feel the rape cage, the sternum, the shoulders, maybe feel your kidneys. Maybe feel the liver. Keep tuning in and feeling the body. Just paying attention to how this feels. How does the hip feel? How does the quadriceps on the left side feel? Let's reverse it and feel that stretch through the obliques. 
Lower down, side angle. Breathe really deep in that breath. You can reach over the head and just feel that expansion and length through the top of the body. Turn the palm down. Exhale the right hand down, left uh, right heel straight up, twist, <laughs> left arm up. And here there's quite a bit of <sighs> input going on from the spine. So feel the spine, feel the shoulder, feel the strength of the shoulder, the arm underneath. Step it back, plank to really, really, really strong knee tucks. So we're gonna really mindfully move through this knee tucks. It's not gonna be any knee tucks, just <laughs> moving the knees around, but rather having absolute integrity in each and every move as we take the right leg up and pull the belly in and draw the knee in and bring it back and rest it down and take the left leg and squeeze the belly and bring the knee and back, and right side, and left side, and right side, and left side, and right side, and left side. Shifting the hips, shifting the alignment here just to experiment and feel how you connect deeper. Great, extended puppy pose. Bring your knees down, spread them open and sit back. A form of child's pose as we did in the beginning. The fingertips are planted down. Great, tuck your toes under, down dog. Nice, deep inhalations, slow and gentle exhalations without forcefulness, letting the air move out of the body, move out of the lungs. Pausing at that emptiness moment, at the top of the exhalation, making a pause where everything is empty and then another breath comes in. Feeling the beauty of the moment, the beauty of your breath. Is your breath beautiful? Yeah, just feeling the beauty, not the perfection, not how amazing and advanced it is, but how beautiful it is just as it is. And taking that same awareness, consciousness, and attitude towards the body, and finding the beauty in its roughness in its imperfection, even in the places where you lack or maybe we have certain disabilities or pains or sickness and finding the beauty in that because everything happens for a reason and everything is here to teach us. So this is not random. We're not just being punished. Everything, every single ache or pain can be a beautiful experience if taken with awareness and consciousness. Let's come into plank, strong belly. Pull the belly in, really connect with your core so that we're really connected on all levels, physically, emotionally, and mentally and spiritually. We want to represent things on all levels. Pull the belly in and feel it. All right, good. Chaturanga, up dog, 
don't worry about chaturanga, you'll perfect it over time. Strength is a beautiful thing. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through directly into warrior to take a nice wide warrior. And see how far you want to deepen it. Reverse it, feeling the openness here. Lower down inside angle, right hand to the inside of the right foot. Reach over with your left arm. Bring both arms down and let's work the right shoulder underneath the right thigh. Take one leg off the floor and maybe the other if you've been with me for a while. This is nothing to you, otherwise just work towards it. Inhale, upward facing dog and down dog. Let's look over to the right, to the left, one more time, to the right, to the left, soften the lips, soften the gaze, smile, smile at yourself, smile, be kind to yourself. Let's take the left leg up, step it through, warrior two. And just adjust it to your liking. How how does the fo uh, the pose feel to you? Do you need to adjust something? Do you need to open the foot a little more, close it a little more? Do you need to externally rotate the right hip a little more, or are you are you good? You can be where you're at, and the pose can look not at all like the textbooks, as long as you tune it tune it into your own. You feel it. Let's reverse it. Walking the right hand down the right leg. Great. Here with core. Integrity. Lower the left hand down. Right arm over the head. All right, lower down, and you can stay here, or you can bring that left shoulder in. You can stay here or take just one leg off the floor and stay here, or you can take the other one off the floor as well. And this wasn't that, that high for me, but that's okay. Plank, chaturanga, belly on the ground, bend your knees, grab your Ankles, lift your heels up and stay here for a moment. Opening the chest, softening the shoulders and massaging the belly or letting the floor bring a firm pressure massage to the belly. This is great for digestion, great for also improving sleep. And release, child's pose. Again, okay, folding into ourselves. So these poses are great for tuning the awareness in finding how we feel, how we are internally, and also awakening the intuition. So that we're following the intuitive voice of the body and the soul rather than constantly searching outside. Great, let's come to all fours. And we're going to Look up, arch the back, exhale, round, inhale, look up, 
Excel only. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round in. Coming back to neutral spine, take the right arm under and shoulder on the ground, look up here. Softening, soften the spine, let it be supple, allow it to be supple. We can stiffen over time, not just the body, but the mind as well. So with the breath, bringing the breath into that upper back area and allowing it to soften, not visibly, just to soften how it feels, to feel softer, to feel more supple, more flexible with the quality of fluidity to it. Coming out, opposite side, letting go of tension essentially letting go of stiffness and how we hold ourselves, but re resetting the body so we don't wake up every morning with the same stiffness, but we're reset to discover a new form. Inhale, coming out of this, and we're going to bring the right knee forward, hips open here, and lower down. The spine is elongated, and you will feel stretch in the hip area, allowing the hips to realign, the pelvis to realign the spine to realign. Exhaling through the hips, softening with each exhalation, letting go of tension, inviting flexibility. Expressing gratitude for our body, breathing in through the heart center, exhaling through the hip, and with each inhalation, filling ourselves up with gratitude, appreciation, love, inhale coming out of this, lift the heart up, open the chest. And exhale, step it back, circle the knee a few times, take the left leg in, elongating the spine. Just follow the breath here, tuning into the breath, paying attention to the breath.
coming up, lifting the chest high, open. Extending the tailbone down, so you're feeling this through the quadriceps and hip flexors. Great. Move the knee in one leg down dog. Let's drop the knees down on the ground. Come up to standing. Bring the hands onto the lower back, fingertips pointing up, working the elbows in towards each other, pressing the hips forward. You can extend the tailbone down. And there's going to be a little bit of a flexing of the clothes, lifting the lower back away from the fingertips. So there is an extension through the spine, through the lower back, lifting through the chest, lift, lift, lift. Don't worry about going back rather than lifting up. The ego wants to go back into a deep bend, but the heart just cares to expand and open here and find elongation through the spine, and that's really therapeutic for the body here. Exhale, and let's take the toes under and take yogic squat. Hands in prayer, elbows on the insides of the knees to open the knees out, and to open the hips further. Hands on the ground, straighten the legs, forward fold, wrap the wrists around the elbows hanging here. The upper body is hanging again, smiling. Release the hands down, bend the knees, and come up to standing. Open the chest, roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale the hands over the head, fingers clasping, and we're going to plant the feet down and reach over to one side. Open the rib cage up, look up, back to center, opposite side. Open and look up. One more time, back to center. Feet are planted, and we're reaching away from the outer edge of the foot. So if we're reaching to the right, left foot pressing, grounding down. Back to center, opposite side. Back to center. Let's bring the hands over the third eye for always intuiting our path, seeing the truth, connecting to the truth. Over the lips, we're always expressing ourselves with truthfulness and beauty. Over the throat, so that we can tune into our art and be right, take the right, the middle path of expression and Absorbing, listening, and talking. And over the heart for loving unconditionally, deeply, fully, outward and inward. And you can blink your eyes open and come back to the present moment, to the room. Take a nice deep breath in. And just see how you feel. Is there a little more lightness in the body, a little more openness? Thanks for joining me today. And subscribe, share the class with your friends and family. And I'll see you next Sunday with another class. Namaste. Let me know what kind of class you would like to see next. Mm -hmm.